Okay, so now we have seen how to set up the system. Now let's try and test it. I have an uh, Apollo Silver version with a Thunderbolt card. I have a Octo UAD and I have an Apollo Twin uh, old Thunderbolt. Now this is the same session that the Pro Tools team, uh, expert team, you are using for testing and possibly breaking systems. And I was uh, so lucky to borrow it from Mike. Uh, so let's try and test it on my system. It's 128 tracks. I had to lower to 48 kilohertz because I'm running a native, uh, a po uh, native Pro Tools and can't run on 96 kilohertz with 128 tracks. So let's try and play. It plays okay. That's without any plugins. Low CPU load and a low DSP load on the UAD. Uh, this is, uh, of course, the test of the UAD system mainly. So let's try and put an uh, EQ. Uh, let's try the Pultec Pro Legacy. It's not that demanding. Uh, so 128 instances of that one. Let's see if it's going to happen. Yeah, I, I, this is, seems like it's going pretty okay. I'm not near 100 uh, at all. I'm at about 50% uh, of the DSP load. So let's see now. Can it play? Yeah. Okay, that's not so surprising because I have, I think it's 14 DSP cores on the UAD and playing with a couple of plugins, uh, it's not a problem. Let's try and break it. Dynamics, we are going to choose a compressor and uh, the 1176SC is not too demanding, so 128 tracks, it's a lot of tracks. And it's loading, it's rising. I think this is going to go all the way. Yep, it's landing at about 66% DSP load. Is it playing? Now let's try and see. Yep, it's playing quite well. Now, the UAD system should be playing when it has the correct and functional drivers and, of course, available DSP power. So what we can do is add more plugins and see if we can reach the DSP limit. So let's try the EMT-140. Now, the EMT-140 is more demanding and will require more DSP power than I have available. So let's see how many instances of the plugin I can load. And it stops at 26 instances of the EMT140. Now, I haven't reached my limit of my DSP power, so I should be able to play. Let's see. It's playing at around 93% power load. Okay. So I have 128 instances of the Pultec Pro Legacy, of course, and 128 1176 SEs, and I have 26 instances of the 11. Now, my system load isn't that high. These are, of course, UAD plugins. So let's try and enable the native plugins. I have a channel strip. I have the D-verb, and I think it is 11 versions of 11. Let's see now. Yeah, yeah that's 11 instances of the 11 plugin. So enable that one. And of course, we are going to take them out of bypass. And the D-verb and the 11. And let's try and run it. Yeah, it's running. Uh, this is an old PC. This is amazing. Uh, okay, well, I have the buffer size set to 1,024 samples. So we have to try and lower that one. Uh, now, to lower the, the, the buffer size in uh, the Windows system, we have to go to the console and settings because we can't do it inside Pro Tools. So now let's go and change that one from 1024 to i think 512 at first uh, i do hope this is going to work and uh, now let's see if we are actually at 512 
yeah, you can see that it's file 12 and we don't have any other choices inside Protos. So, okay, and let's try and run it. <laughs> yeah, it's running. Running at 512, uh, around 80%, 70 to 80%. I want to go lower. Let's try it. Now, let's see. Um, okay, let's go all the way, all the way down to 32 samples. Um, this can't work. I I'm sure of it. it this can't just don't work let's see now um we are at 32 and we have the universal audio you can see there the ignore errors was not turned on and oh that's close oh the 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 status the total is no it's it's yellow it's it's running it's not breaking this is amazing this is an old pc but now uh, I have, uh, let's see now, I have um, uh, 200 and about 280 instances of UAD plugins and about, I think it's 200 and was 67, something like that, native plugins running at the same time. I'm running a buffer size at 32 samples and... Uh, and as you can, you saw earlier, I I don't have the ignore errors switched on, so it's it's playing <laughs> on an old PC from 2013 on Thunderbolt One. It's a, it's an i7. Uh, I think it's a it's a quad core, 3.5 gigahertz quad core. And uh, now I have upgraded the rest of the system. The the display card is is newer, but the main board and the CPU is the same now you know i had to remove one of my my uh, memory modules so i'm running at 12 gigabytes of memory uh, and uh, i'm amazed i uh, this was fun uh, i i can i can make music on this system and uh, i hope this tutorial was uh, helpful and I do think this proves that you can run a multiple UAD Thunderbolt system on an old PC running Thunderbolt 1. So now we can use the money on something else like maybe plugins or microphones. From the sunny part of northern Norway, I've been Knut Rikard.